Hi everyone, this is Dr. Saloni Singh and uh, I am here to talk with parents today. Uh, let's see who is joining us today. If you are joining me live, please say hello in the comment section and let me know you are here. Also let me know from where you are joining today. And uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Raligir Health Insurance for inviting me to talk to the parents, to their clients and employees to share some tips on parenting and parenting is one of the topic which is very close to my heart being a mother uh, of two teenagers and a parent coach for more than 11 years now hi ayush happy to see you here hello rachelia kishore yes kishore yes please please put uh, put uh, your your a presence just mention here in the comment section that you're joining and from where are you joining also i have already got some questions from some parents about the challenges they are facing in the lockdown and please keep on sharing your questions and uh, after around 40 minutes of session i will be taking uh, questions and answering all your questions so keep sharing your questions in the comment section and uh, anything you want me to talk about just let me know in the comment section Hello everyone. So maybe we will just wait for two minutes and then I will start the session. Also for the people, uh, I'm sure you want to know maybe that uh, who am I and uh, uh, what do I do and uh, why I'm talking about parenting. So just a brief introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Dr. Saloni Singh. I am a parents coach and I've been working with uh, teenagers as well as parents and families all over the world, both in India, UK, US and many other countries for now more than 11 years. And I work with parents and teens one-to-one -one, as well as I do group workshops on parenting skills. And I help parents to navigate their parent journey in the best possible way. Because we all know that parenting is quite a roller coaster journey and uh, there are many challenges. Uh, when we become parents, it doesn't come with a manual. We all know it can be really hard many times to understand our children, especially modern children. And in modern times, sometimes there are a lot of challenges as current challenge we're going through. So I help parents to deal with all those challenges. And I blog as well on parenting issues and have made videos on many parenting challenges as well. So I think a lot of people are already joining us here. Just wait a couple of more minutes. And then we will start with uh, the questions which parents have already put that how do we manage time? Also, how do we manage our emotions? our children, children's emotions as well in the times of lockdown. We all know these are quite uncertain times and uh, people are going through a lot of anxiety, a lot of insecurity. Many people are facing financial insecurity, job insecurity, business are you know coming down and a lot of things are happening. We are stuck at home, we are not going to, you know able to go out, connect with their loved ones, friends and family. And uh, children are also not able to meet their friends. So definitely a lot of, uh, most of us are feeling some kind of, you know, uh, anxiety, stress as well, which is very natural in such times. So how to manage and navigate these times and uh, parent your children in the best possible way, even now in the pandemic and also afterwards. So I think I'll just look for the comments if any questions have come here. And uh, let's begin. So uh, first of all, I want to say to all parents that I'm sure and I fully believe that you are doing a great job. Even if you feel a lot of parents tell me, almost every day I talk to many parents and they tell me that, you know, I'm not sure I'm, I'm doing the right thing and uh, I don't know how to, you know, really handle my child, children's emotions. So I want to tell you that you must know that you are doing a great job. This is something we have never experienced. This is something very new for all of us. I mean, uh, children has been at home for two months. They are doing now online classes and uh, there's a lot of pressure. So I also they are feeling. So we have never seen such times before. So it is not easy. And the common challenge which parents are facing currently is the emotions. And a lot of parents themselves are going through anxiety, fears, and the children are also going through mood swings, right? So first of all, let's talk about acceptance. 
the first thing I want you to know is that most of the time our parenting comes from a place of fear. So a lot of time we fear that okay my child is maybe not uh, you know having a routine currently even though they are having online classes but they are not taking shower sometimes they are not you know cleaning their room they are not even changing their clothes not going out and of course they can't go out but they are not doing any kind of physical activity and a lot of fears you know come into parents minds so what happens and uh, whether pandemic or not i believe that a bigger pandemic than corona is fear that's right most of the parents actually do fear based parenting and fear is a much much bigger pandemic all over the world whether it's india or any other country we are so much you know leading by fear that uh, what if uh, if my child doesn't do physical activity what will happen if my child doesn't eat food you know finish all the food in her, in her plate or in his plate fir kya hoga तो अगर हम कॉन्स्टेंटली इस फीयर में रहते हैं कि अगर मेरे बच्चे ने ये नहीं किया इफ माई चाइल्ड इज नॉट गुड इन स्पोर्ट्स तो क्या होगा इफ माई चाइल्ड इज नॉट गुड इन अकेडमिक्स तो क्या होगा तो कॉन्स्टेंटली ये फीयर्स जो हमारे माइंड में रहते हैं दे एक्चुअली आर ड्राइविंग द वे वी पेरेंट आर चिल्ड्रन सो वेन वी एक्चुअली डू अवर पेरेंटिंग बेस्ड ऑन दीज फीयर्स देन वट हैपन देन वट हैपन इज यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली फोकसिंग ऑन इम्प्रूविंग एंड चेंजिंग आर चाइल्ड बिहेवियर we are constantly thinking that uh, uh, what can i do to improve my child we are constantly trying to fix something and that actually irritates sometimes and makes our child children cranky as well that actually completely change the parenting you know dynamics and we are constantly trying to fix something trying to actually do something to improve you know the way your child is and that is just reminding me of a uh, interesting uh, you know story and um, i want to share this interesting story i had once read and i could really relate i want you to when you listen to this story just notice and relate with your own life uh, and uh, this is a story of mulla nasiruddin and uh, mulla nasiruddin ki kahani aapne zarur shur suni hogi shayad bachpan mein ek bar mulla nasiruddin apne field mein kaam kar raha तो ही अपने फील्ड में कुछ काम कर रहा था अपने सुबह से शाम तक ही वॉज डूइंग सम वर्क और ये वो रमादान का दिन था तो उसने ही वॉज फास्टिंग पूरे टाउन में सब लोगों ने फास्ट किया था और ही वॉज वेरी वेरी हंग्री और इन द इवनिंग ही रियलाइज कि वन ऑफ द वेरी रिच मैन हैज इनवाइटेड एवरीबडी फॉर अ फीस्ट तो रमादान के लिए फास्ट को ब्रेक करने के लिए वन ऑफ द वेल्दीएस्ट जो सेठ था शहर का उसने इन्वाइट किया था सबको अपने घर पर तो वैन नसीरुद्दीन फिनिश फिनिश हिज वर्क ही रियलाइज कि ही वॉज ऑल स्वेटिंग उसके कपड़े जैसे काफ़ी डर्टी हो गए थे बिकॉज पूरे दिन ही वॉज वर्किंग एंड बट ही वॉज वेरी हंग्री सो ही थॉट कि अब घर कौन जाएगा कपड़े बदलने और हो सकता है तब तक सारे अच्छे अच्छे डिजर्ट्स जो है हलवा खीर सब खत्म ही ना हो जाए तो मैं सीधे वहाँ से लेट मी गो टू द फीस्ट दैन ही इमिडिएटली गोज टू द फीस्ट टू टू द सेट्स हाउस एंड एज ही नोक ऑन द डोर the host opens the door and uh, he looks at nasiruddin and and jaise hi wo dekhta hai ki nasiruddin ke kapde gande hai rags se hai smell aa rahi hai so he doesn't even smile he doesn't welcome nasiruddin and uh, just ask him to come in and uh, he does imagine kaisa lag raha hoga nasiruddin ko of course he was not feeling happy and when he was inside तो वहाँ पे बहुत सारे लोग बैठकर ऑलरेडी दे आर फीसिंग सो एवरीबडी इज ईटिंग एंड एवरीबडी इज इन ब्यूटीफुल क्लोथ सब ने बहुत अच्छे अच्छे कपड़े पहने हुए हैं एंड सब लोग बड़े रॉयल अपने टायर में बैठे हैं तो सीरीज इन रियलाइज कि उसके कपड़े जो थे वो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनवायरमेंट और जो पार्टी उसके हिसाब से ही वॉज नॉट ड्रेस्ड अप तो जैसे वो नोटिस बैठने लगता है तो ही नोटिस नो बडी इज एक्चुअली बींग वेलकमिंग टू हिम कोई भी ध्यान नहीं देता उसकी तरफ कोई भी ऐसे उसको वेलकम नहीं करता और कोई उससे कुछ पूछता नहीं है तो ही हिमसेल्फ यू नो टेक्स फूड नो एवरीबडी जस्ट इग्नोर्स हिम नो बडी इज लुकिंग एट हिम विद वॉम लव लाइक अ होस्ट तो ही सिट्स देयर एंड एज इज अबाउट टू ईट ही जस्ट फील्स रियली बैड ही जस्ट फील्स दैट ओ आई एम नॉट वेलकम हेयर सो ही गोज ही लीव द फूड एंड ही गोज आउट ही गोज टू हिज हाउस अपने घर जाके वो अपने कपड़े चेंज करता है बहुत सुंदर सा ब्यूटिफुल कोट जो उसने रखा होता है इस पार्टी के लिए वो ही वेयर दैट कोट एंड देन ही कम्स अगेन वो वापस आता है तो जैसे वो नोक करता है द होस्ट ओपन द डोर एंड द होस्ट वेलकम्स नसीरुद्दीन बड़े प्यार से वो होस्ट वेलकम करता है नसीरुद्दीन को और कहता है कि प्लीज कम कम इन एंड नसीरुद्दीन को बड़े अच्छे से वेलकम करके वो लेकर जाते हैं उनको एवरीबडी वॉन्ट हिम टू कम एंड सिट विद मी एवरीबडी सीज 
प्लीज आइए आइए बैठिए और सब उनको फूड ऑफर करते हैं एवरीबडी ऑफर्स हिम फूड एंड एवरीबडी सो हैप्पी टू सी हिम एवरीबडी इज स्माइलिंग एंड इज बीइंग वार्म तो नसीब दिन वाज वेरी सरप्राइज टू सी दिस काइंड ऑफ रिस्पांस फ्रॉम एवरीवन वो बैठता है और खाने जैसे वो शुरू करता है अपनी प्लेट में ही पुट सम नट्स काजू बादाम सम सिंपल यू नो स्नैक्स एंड एपिटाइजर तो जैसे वो उठाता है एपिटाइजर को वो अपने कोट में डालता है ही पुट्स इट इज ए कोट एंड ही सेज खाओ कोट खाओ then he picks up a mithai and he puts it in the pocket of the coat and bolta hai khao coat khao so he starts feeding to his coat so everybody there gets surprised and they say ki what are you doing nasiruddin khana to hamare khane ke liye to coat ko kyun khila rahe ho then nasiru says that ki jab main yahan par bina coat pehne kuch purane kharab se kapdon mein aaya to kisi ne mujhe welcome nahi kiya actually the truth is ki i am not welcomed here what is being welcomed is this coat तो खाना तो इस कोट को ही मिलना चाहिए क्यों तो इस स्टोरी से हमें क्या समझ आता है आज पेरेंटिंग के बारे में हमें क्या समझ आता है क्या ये सच नहीं है कि बहुत बार बहुत बार हम अपने बच्चे को रियलिटी में बच्चा है क्या उसको देख नहीं पाते हैं वट वी आर सींग वट वी आर नोटिसिंग इज ओनली चाइल्ड बिहेवियर एग्जैक्टली वैसे ही जैसे नसीरुद्दीन के गंदे कपड़ों में कोई उसको नज कोई उसको देख भी नहीं पा रहा था कि ये कौन है और जैसे ही उसने एक अच्छा सा कोट डाला एक अच्छे से अटायर में वो जैसे ही आता है एवरीबडी इज नोटिसिंग हिम एवरीबडी बडी इज पेइंग अटेंशन टू हिम तो अब नोट अपने अपनी खुद के घर में अपने खुद के डेली रूटीन में जस्ट पे अटेंशन कितनी बार हम अपने बच्चे को सही में देख पाते हैं कितनी बार ऐसा होता है मे बी सुबह जब हम उठाते हैं वैन वी वे कवर चाइल्ड अब बड़े प्यार से हम अपने बच्चे को उठाते हैं या फिर रात को जब वी आर पुटिंग चाइल्ड टू बैड गुड नाइट बोल रहे हैं अपने बच्चे को तो बड़े अच्छे से करते हैं रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वट वी डू हमारा ध्यान कहाँ होता है खाना खाया कि नहीं खाया ऑनलाइन क्लासेस चल रही है क्लास ध्यान से की या नहीं की होमवर्क किया या नहीं किया बात मेरी सुनी या नहीं सुनी प्लेट में खाना पूरा फिनिश किया या नहीं किया तो कॉन्स्टेंटली हमारा ध्यान होता है लाइट ऑफ की बाथरूम क्लीन किया वॉड्रो क्लीन है कि नहीं डिड यू टेक शावर डिड यू डू ब्रश कॉन्स्टेंटली हमारा फोकस होता है हमारे बच्चे के बिहेवियर पे यस जस्ट टेक अ मिनट एंड थिंक अबाउट इट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी रियली सी द चाइल्ड एज आवर चाइल्ड यस नॉट एज ए रोल दैट आई एम पेरेंट एंड ही और शी इज माई चाइल्ड literally as a child as a being as a soul how many times you are able to see i'm not saying that we don't help our children become responsible we don't help our children to be uh, self disciplined self responsible and uh, do things have good habits of course we will help them inculcate all those things but the point is are we able to see the child as well or not that is a very important thing and that of course goes for all the times corona or no corona every time we need to pay attention to this that the person in front of us the being our child are we able to see to him or her are we able to truly listen to our child and being present to the being they are so that's the first thing i want you to start noticing second thing as i mentioned notice where when when all the, all the times when we are coming from the place of fear so when we are saying something to our children is it coming from fear or is it coming from the place of trust so there is two types of parenting one is fear based parenting where we are always fearing that if i do not guide my child if i do not tell my child to do this or do that somehow my child will not grow properly somehow my child will not flourish while there is an another way of parenting which is trust based parenting which means that yes i trust my child is here to flourish my child will naturally blossom if just i allow them to blossom if i just don't do anything if i don't limit their growth my child will blossom and that is trust based parenting so a simple example i'll give to you to help you understand how to build that trust based parenting take an example of a small plant right so uh, you bring seeds to your house and uh, sometimes you put those seeds into a you know small uh, uh, pot right and what do you do afterwards you then or you bring saplings maybe and uh, you put that plant in a in a pot you make sure that if sunlight is needed if some water is needed you put that water in that 
food and how much sunlight is needed usko zyada dhoop mein rakhna hai ya kam dhoop mein rakhna you just pay attention to that right and then you wait patiently 15 din mein 20 din mein ek mahine mein agar usme bhi koi leaves nahi aati hai kuch kuch change nahi aata then what do we do we don't scream at that plant we don't start you know uh, digging that what's the problem with the roots no what we do we'll look at the soil we look at the soil that do i need to put some manure in this soil we look at our environment we look that humne thoda zyada pani to nahi dala usme ya kam pani dal rahe hain agar zyada pani chahiye ya sunlight bahut zyada to nahi aa rahi hai direct to nahi pad rahi hai to hum hamesha jab bhi us plant mein koi dikkat hoti hai we try to check the environment why because we trust we 100% trust as the seed we bought from the shop Yes, हमें उस उस सीट पे पूरा विश्वास है जिस सीट को लेकर आए हैं शॉप से एंड फुल्ली वी ट्रस्ट द प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्चुअली दैट प्लांट द ग्रोथ ऑफ दैट प्लांट बट इमेजिन योर चाइल्ड इज योर ओन सीट यस योर चाइल्ड इज योर ओन सीट सो हाउ इट इज दैट वी डू नॉट बिलीव अवर ओन सीट वी डू नॉट बिलीव दैट माई चाइल्ड is going to flourish is going to blossom no matter what what we need to give to our children is just nourishment sunlight which is full complete unconditional acceptance and some water which is love and care that's all if you are truly listening to our children their feelings their what they are thinking how what is happening in their heart within them if we are present to them fully that's all we need to do so we don't need to actually constantly advise them or lecture them or preach about things they are very mature and wise beings actually more much more mature and wise than we are because we mainly come from our conditioning our peers and children when they're especially young they're not then we feed to them a lot of conditioning and lot of fears we feed to them right so start noticing every time you say something to your child just take a pause just take a pause go back you know and uh, within you just take a deep breath and think what i just said or what i was about to say is it coming from faith is it coming from trust or is it coming from place of fear and if it's coming from place of fear maybe you just need a couple of deep breaths and think that do i need to even say it or can i trust my own child my own seed so that's the first thing i want you to start doing from now on yes. then the other thing which is specifically required in the lockdown period is this we all are going through a lot of mood swings and i'm sure my children are telling me every single day a lot of parents are sharing that with me as well my clients and friends that children are going through a lot of mood swings as well they are not able to meet their friends their teachers they're not able to go out and play so they are experiencing some some kind of you know irritation crankiness mood swings they're feeling sometimes low and they're on screen for online classes a lot so just double up yes double up your patience level with them. just really increase the connection with them and drop your expectation just to half really right? drop your expectations to half so maybe uh, in our house we have done something recently that whenever somebody is feeling you know in a low mood or they are in a bad mood they will just announce that okay right now i'm not in a good mood so do not expect anything from me and that's a good thing to do i we call it moodometer rather we were thinking to make a board where we can just put you know a uh, smile or uh, a kind of you know emoji that how i'm feeling right now so that you know if your child can tell you that okay right now i'm not in a good mood then you can be even more patient you can be even more you know no judgmental and more loving and accepting to them so just notice and also do that to yourself as a parent as well sometimes maybe you are not in a very good mood just do a check within yourself that right now if i'm not in a bad not in a good mood maybe i can tell my child if they are asking something or if they are demanding something 
Just tell your child right now, maybe I'm tired or I'm exhausted or I'm feeling anxious or I'm stressed and give me some time. So take that time to cool down, maybe do something, um, whatever nourishes you, whether it's music, whether it's reading something, doing some exercise or watching some tea, whatever you need to do to cool yourself down, to relax yourself, do that. Take the time to bring uh, yourself out of that, you know, kind of gloomy mood and then you talk to your child. That would be much, much better. So now, uh, some parents have sent me these questions that we are 24 hours with our kids and kids are demanding a lot of things and many parents are working parents. And uh, I remember yesterday, mother was telling me that uh, in, in, she has, she, earlier she was working 9 to 5 and now she's working 9 to 9 because the work, uh, home, you know, uh, totally the boundaries of work life and family life are completely dissolving because there is no routine call they're taking calls from us and lots are happening so many parents are going through this you know particular challenge that they are working uh, you know long hours so uh, in this situation what can you do in this situation i tell parents that less is more so you don't have to be with your child all the time let them be on their own when they're doing their online classes, when they're watching their cartoons, when they're playing online games with their friends or uh, they're doing their artwork or anything they're doing. You can just leave them, leave them alone. You can be, go to them, supervise them in between if they need your help and make sure that you have certain quality time with them. So that can be maybe one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening. But make sure that time is a deep connecting time. So as I said, double up your connection. So it's very important that you spend, even if you spend less time with your children, but make that time more you know, quality time. It should be like a lot of deep connection happening in that time. So you can play. Simple, simple tips I would give you. A lot of online play games are going on. If you have teenagers, you can play all those games. If you have young children, you can play board games and uh, I think now even children have got bored of board games. So you can you can just think of new ways. Maybe you can make bake something together. You can uh, do make some things with clay together or you can do art, painting together, finger painting, whatever you like with young children you can do. And uh, household chores, that is another important thing parents are facing that children are some, where children are, you know, older children they are maybe not participating in household chores so the simple tip is this if you have older children at home just encourage them appreciate them every time they participate in household chores also you can ask them okay there is so much work there is no help around how can you help me in the household chores let them choose their own you know chores and don't push them or criticize them that oh you are not helping me and don't nag them that will not help. Rather, encourage them that can you join me in you know cooking? Can you join me in cleaning the house? That is a much better way of doing it. And whenever they do it, appreciate lavishly. Appreciate. Maybe you can even create a star chart. Everybody take a star and then you can decide what you're going to do with all these rewards after the lockdown. Maybe you can have a party. And you can even make a chart who is doing the maximum household chores. And make it fun. So one of the thing about parenting is we take it too seriously. The other day, my friend was telling that, oh, my child, they're, they're not learning anything. They're not, you know, they don't know any cooking, any cleaning. So when we become so serious about certain things, then we start to freak out. Then when we stress out, we put that stress on our children as well. That doesn't help. Yes. So make it fun. Make it more enjoyable for them. Maybe put on some music. Maybe you take out your best cutlery and ask them to set the table. Maybe you look at some new recipe on YouTube. Create some nice Italian cuisine at home. And do it together. Don't tell them, oh, go and clean your room. It's much more interesting when you, uh, you know, you're in a good mood and you go to them and say, let's all together clean it. And for younger children, definitely that works. For children, if you have children at home who are between age 2 to 8, just involve them in anything and everything. So you can take them when you're washing clothes, when you're folding clothes, when you're cooking, when you're cleaning. Just ask them to be with you, whatever they can help. And that will be a great, great thing you can teach them. These are life skills. So I think there can be no better time than this to teach your children life skills. 
because otherwise we are too busy we are too busy in our work and going out socializing but now because we all are at home and uh, there's a huge opportunity that we can or we are all doing home you know household chores there's opportunity for our children to learn these life skills as well so uh, that is another thing you get to then uh, there are very very simple tips to connect with your children like if your children are teenagers then definitely simple conversations at least uh, at times like when you're having your breakfast together lunch together or dinner together try to have all meals together for sure if you have a habit of watching tv which a uh, lot of uh, my clients complain that children have a habit of that they keep on you know uh, with their food they watch tv and that's how it has been in their households so of course it will take some time to break this habit the way i suggest to do it first of all you introduce it to your children that you have read somewhere or you have listened from a coach that it's not a good habit because our mind doesn't register that food as well you are not able to you know really uh, feel and taste for food properly and feel the gratitude we have for that food and you you really help them understand this and then ask them how can we start eating food with more you know being present mindful and talking to each other rather than we all you know being glued to some tv screen and of course if you also have a habit of watching you know tv while having food first of all you will have to drop that habit because uh, it's we all know that children do what we children learn what we do right and we can never teach children by telling them something we can only teach them by doing so children only learn uh, what we do they only learn by our own life example so that is the most important thing if you want your children to stay calm to manage their emotions to you know be present to enjoy the food if you want your children to be more and more in control of their emotions you want your children to connect with their you know family members or uh, be socially you know more open to yourself that you start connecting with people you in front of them not to fake but really truly do everything which you want your child to do and that is the simplest leadership leadership way to actually teach your children do anything anything you want them to be so first you first inculcate that in within you i remember another question that uh, uh, just a few days back a parent was asking me was how to, how do i inculcate gratitude in my child and i'm sure you already know what i'm about to say that only by practicing gratitude yourself if we are going to crib on the dining table oh that i'm craving for restaurant food and i'm i'm feeling upset that i can't order you know food from outside it's okay you might feel that way but if you are saying that then you cannot expect that your child is going to feel grateful that we have food on our table and the truth is there are many people who are facing difficulty in getting their daily food so maybe it would be more effective if you share with your children what you feel if when you feel gratitude if you share if you are sharing things like i am so grateful that you know uh, we are doing so well even during this pandemic actually we we have abundance we have food we have all the facilities all the comfort we are in the comfort of our own house if even if for few minutes you genuinely feel and i am not saying that you fake it that doesn't work because children are very smart they are going to catch you so never try try to fake any emotions any thoughts but when you truly feel that if if you are feeling it then make sure that you express it to your children as well you can share that with your children that how grateful i feel that we you know and is it true that we are living in in an era the this corona pandemic has happened when we are connected to everyone with through internet like right now i'm connecting with so many of you it's amazing isn't it and with our family members with our friends we can connect with mobile imagine i was discussing with my children the other day if this uh, pandemic would have happened in our childhood we would have no way to connect with our friends there was no mobiles no computers no internet imagine and that was long not very long ago just 30 30 30 years back there was nothing 30 35 years back 
and there was no connection. So imagine how much gratitude we really felt that day that how how privileged we are to live in this era and uh, even if this is happening, we feel connected to all of our loved ones, with our friends and we can do so much with this time. So when you feel this way, your children are naturally going to feel that way. Similarly, other thing which you can uh, you know really teach your children emotional intelligence is by really becoming aware of your own emotions and accepting your emotions fully when you do that you will teach your children exactly the same thing so start like this if you see that in the children at your home any of your child if they are showing some aggression if they are showing some kind of reaction if they are being reactive or any kind of negative behavior or negative emotions, just really look at them as if they are your mirror. Yes, look at them as if they are your mirror and and ask yourself, what is it telling me about my behavior? Because maybe somewhere in my life, I am being reactive. Somewhere in my life, I am actually losing control. Somewhere in my life, I am being aggressive, I am being angry, maybe with your child, maybe with your spouse, maybe with uh, somebody else, maybe you yourself, uh, you know, feel very low. I remember uh, once a mother coming to me and telling me that, um, you know, her child is not confident at all and the self-esteem is very low. And whenever a parent tells me this, I always ask them the first question, how confident are you about yourself? And uh, for sure and similarly I remember once a father had come to me and for specifically for the reason that he felt that his son was very unhappy and there was no reason he had everything he got admission and uh, best college in the college he wanted but again he was saying that I know he's not happy he's very unhappy and I asked the father that how do you feel how happy you are in your life and he just completely broke down. He said, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy with my job. I'm not happy you know, with my life circumstances. So, yes, somebody is saying that Hindi mein baat karin, jab, main Hindi mein karti hun baat. So, a father came to me and told me that his child is very unhappy. And when I asked him, how happy are you? So, his answer was that I am not happy at all. 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 मैं बहुत अनहैप्पी फील कर रहा हूँ। I'm not satisfied। तो अगर आपका बच्चा कुछ भी, कुछ भी नेगेटिव बिहेवियर शो करता है, अगर आपका बच्चा आपको लगता है कि बहुत ग्रैटिट्यूड फील नहीं कर रहा है, और बहुत नेगेटिव एनर्जी शो कर रहा है, एरोगेंट है, या एग्रेसिव है, या बात-बात में स्नैप करता है, या फिर ऐसे लगता भी in some ways हो सकता है कि आप बच्चे की respect नहीं कर रहे हैं या उस बच्चे को ये feel नहीं हो रहा है कि मेरी respect की जा रही है मेरी बात सुनी जा रही है मेरी मेरे point of view की respect की जा रही है तो जब बच्चा ये देखता है कि respect नहीं मिल रही है मुझे तो वो उनका behaviour भी ऐसा ही नजर आता है तो वह बच्चे जो होते हैं वो हमारे mirror होते हैं और इस लॉकडाउन में वी कैन सी जो भी हमारे बच्चे शो कर रहे हैं जो बिहेवियर शो कर रहे हैं जो इमोशंस शो कर रहे हैं काफी हद तक वो एक रिफ्लेक्शन है हमारे अपने बीइंग का और जब हम इस चीज को देख पाएंगे जब हम उस चीज को अपने अंदर चेंज कर पाएंगे अगर हम चाहते हैं कि हमारा बच्चा हंसता रहे और जॉयफुल रहे बहुत ही कंटेंट रहे लाइफ से और लाइफ में जो जॉय होता है छोटी छोटी चीजों में जॉय को अनुभव कर सके तो पहले हमें अनुभव करना है पहले हमें खुद फील करना है उन सब चीजों को छोटी छोटी लाइफ की चीजें जो रियली मैटर करती हैं जैसे कि साथ में कुछ देर बैठ के बातें करना एक दूसरे को समझना एक दूसरे के साथ एंजॉय करना प्ले फ्रीली रियली प्रेजेंट होना जब हम वो सब कर पाएंगे तो हम धीरे 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 विल टेक टाइम बट हमारे बच्चे उस एनर्जी को डेफिनेटली क्रॉस करेंगे और हम देखेंगे कि बच्चे के बिहेवियर में बच्चे के इमोशंस में द वे दे आर and uh, it's amazing like I ever uh, I have to coach you parents ko bahut bar bar se batate hain ki within 10 15 days 10 15 din mein hi jaise wo bacche ke sath connect karne lagte hain smile zyada karte hain hug zyada karte hain bacche ke sath affection zyada show karte hain appreciate karte hain apne bacche ko to they start seeing a change in children's behavior 
instantly there is a change in your children's behavior. So these are a few simple ways you can actually uh, help navigate this journey of COVID time with your children. And uh, please keep reminding yourself, keep reminding, apne aapko bar wise cheez ko yaad dilaiye ki ye bachon ke liye bilkul easy time nahi hai. Hum logon ko phir bhi bohat aadat hai. Hum logon ko aadat hai apne world mein busy rehne ki. Hum apna kaam karte hai, ghar aate hai, phir hum busy hote hai ghar ke kaamon mein. Bachon ke liye it's a huge difference. Kyunki wo jab school jate hai, to wo friends se milte hai. They are having a lot of fun. Bohat masti karte hai, hasti hai, apne teachers ke saab milte hai. Unke liye bohat, bohat bada change hai ye do mahine se. Like mile nahi hai apne kisi friends se, baar khelne nahi gaya hai. तो बच्चों के लिए कहीं ज़्यादा बड़ा चेंज है और उनके लिए कहीं ज़्यादा मुश्किल है तो अगर आपको लगता है कि आपका बच्चा किसी भी तरह का नेगेटिव बिहेवियर शो कर रहा है प्लीज़ नो कि वो बच्चा इज़ गोइंग थ्रू लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस उसको काफ़ी स्ट्रेस है वो काफ़ी डिफिकल्ट टाइम से गुजर रहा है एंड उस बच्चे को सिर्फ आपसे क्या चाहिए कम्प्लीट एक्सेप्टेंस कम्प्लीट एक्सेप्टेंस रिमेंबर दैट स्टोरी बच्चे का हम नसीरुद्दीन की स्टोरी कि हमें कोर्ट नहीं फेंकना है हमें बच्चे का बिहेवियर नहीं है हमें बच्चे की बीइंग को फील करना है और उसको एक्सेप्ट करना है एंड प्लीज़ नो व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट एक्सेप्टेंस आई डोंट मीन कि आपका बच्चे का कोई अच्छा बिहेवियर नहीं शो कर रहा है या उनका बिहेवियर ठीक नहीं है घर में तो आप उसको एक्सेप्ट करें मैं ये नहीं कह रही हूँ आप जेंटली अपने बच्चे को बता सकते हो कि ये बिहेवियर मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगा या मुझे हर्ट हुआ या ये डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल था इसको कैसे वो दूसरे तरीके से कर सकते हैं आपने ऐसे गुस्सा किया या इरीटेट हो रहे हो आप गंदे से बात कर रहे हो तो आपको कैसा लग रहा है ये आप उसे जरूर पूछ सकते हैं बट मेक श्योर कि हमें बिहेवियर को कंडेम करना है बच्चे को नहीं तो जस्ट एवरी टाइम यू टॉक टू योर चाइल्ड रिमेंबर दैट आई एक्सेप्ट माई चाइल्ड जस्ट द वे दे आर रिमेंबर दैट एंड जब भी हमने अपने बच्चे को कोई बात समझाना चाहते हैं तो एक सिंपल रूल है लेस इज लेस इज मोर तो जितना छोटे में आप बता सकते हैं बच्चे को कोई भी बात आपने बतानी है आप रिस्पेक्ट के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं लिसनिंग के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं कोई भी और चीज़ आप बच्चे को कहना चाहते हैं कि वो भी फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज करें ऑफ कोर्स आप खुद कर रहे हैं तभी आप उनको मोटिवेट कर पाएंगे पर कुछ भी आप कहना चाहते हैं तो कम से कम शब्दों में कम से कम सेंटेंसेज में उनको कहें आई रिमेंबर वेन माई डॉटर टर्न नाइन तो एक बार उसने मुझे बताया कि माँ हम बहुत लेक्चर करते हो तो मैंने कहा अच्छा लेक्चर करते हैं तो अगर मुझे कुछ समझाना है तो कैसे समझाऊँ आपको तो शी सेट की ठीक है आप बस एक सेंटेंस में जस्ट एक सेंटेंस में आप मुझे बता देना और मैं समझ जाऊँगी मैंने कहा एक सेंटेंस तो बहुत मुश्किल है कई बार ऐसी बात होती है तो जैसे सेट ओके ठीक है दो सेंटेंस पर दो से ज़्यादा नहीं तो शी वो स्वीट एंड शी टोल मी दैट कि दो से ज़्यादा जैसे सेंटेंसेज होते हैं इट बिकम्स अ लेक्चर और फिर मेरे दिमाग में कुछ नहीं आता फिर ऐसे होता है कि ब्ला 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 जिग्जैग जिग्जैग और मुझे कुछ समझ में ही नहीं आता है कि आप क्या कह रहे हो और मुझे कुछ अंदर नहीं जा रहा होता सब ऊपर से जा रहा है तो उससे ना रियलाइज कि इट्स सो ट्रू जब हम बहुत ज़्यादा बच्चों को समझाते हैं बार बार समझाते हैं ऐसे करो ऐसे नहीं करो इंस्ट्रक्शन देते हैं दैट डजेंट हेल्प दैट इज लेक्चर एंड चिल्ड्रन डू नॉट लाइक टू लिसन टू दो लेक्चर सो वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू करेक्ट आर चिल्ड्रन आई टेल पेरेंट्स रिमेंबर कनेक्ट बिफोर यू करेक्ट तो अपना फोकस इस पर रखें कि बच्चे के साथ मुझे कनेक्ट करना है मुझे अपने बच्चे के साथ डीप लेवल पर कनेक्ट करना है एंड द बेस्ट वे टू कनेक्ट विद योर चाइल्ड इज टू लिसन टू योर चाइल्ड एंड नंबर टू प्ले विद योर चाइल्ड वट एवर एज चाहे वो आपका बच्चा छोटा दो साल का बच्चा हो या फिर आपका अठारह बीस साल का बच्चा हो लिसन टू योर चाइल्ड एंड दैट इज़ लिसनिंग इज समथिंग जो हमें लगता है कि हम शायद बहुत अच्छे से कर पाते हैं बट इट इज़ नॉट ट्रू आई विल जस्ट सी द कमेंट सेक्शन अगर आप लोगों में से किसी के भी क्वेश्चन हैं आई कैन सी लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर हेयर प्लीज़ पुट योर क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इन जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स आई विल बी आंसरिंग योर क्वेश्चन वी विल बी नाउ आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज़ कीप पुटिंग योर क्वेश्चन एनी क्वेश्चन कोई भी आपके क्वेश्चन है पेरेंटिंग को लेकर बच्चे को लेकर प्लीज कमेंट सेक्शन में आप डाल सकते हैं आई विल बी आंसरिंग दैम सो आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट लिसनिंग येस सो हम सबको लगता है कि हम सुनते हैं बट अगर सच में हम अपने बच्चे से पूछे या अपने स्पाउस से पूछे या खुद भी पूछे कि आपको लगता है कि जब दूसरे आपकी बात सुनते हैं क्या वो जेनरली सुनते हैं टू यू रियली 
feel that you are being listened to? क्या आंसर है जस्ट पुट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो आई नो दैट यू आर लिसन टू मी आपको जब जब आप कोई बात कह रहे होते हैं चाहे वो अपने स्पाउस को कह रहे हैं या अपने बच्चे को कह रहे हैं या अपने पेरेंट को कह रहे हैं क्या आपको लगता है कि दूसरा पर्सन आपको सुन पा रहा है येस और नो जस्ट पुट टाइप इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन कि क्या आपको लगता है कि दूसरे आपको ध्यान से सुन पा रहे हैं समझ पा रहे हैं क्या आपको ऐसा लगता है नेहा इज आस्किंग अबाउट स्क्रीन टाइम येस नेहा आई बी आंसरिंग योर क्वेश्चन थैंक यू फॉर योर क्वेश्चन तो आई एम लुकिंग फॉर द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन कि जब आप कोई बात कहते हैं आपको क्या लगता है दूसरे क्या आपकी बात को सुन पाते हैं आपको लगता है कि अदर पीपल आर लिसनिंग टू यू येस और नो ज्यादा मुझे लगता है बहुत सारे लोगों से मेरी बात होती रहती है एज ए कोच मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल ज्यादातर सभी लोगों को ऐसा लगता है कि आई एम नॉट बींग लिसन टू and let me tell you that's true it's whether it's you whether it's your child or your spouse we all feel ki hum hame nahi suna ja raha hai most of us feel ki dusra person hame nahi samajh pa raha hai aur hum hame nahi suna ja raha hai and sometimes yes we are being listened very good savvy thank you for that so kabhi kabhi hum dusre hame sun pate hain which is beautiful if you have this experience just notice How do you feel when you feel कि I am being listened? कैसा it's like a gift, isn't it? When somebody truly लिसन to us, somebody truly understand us, then हमें ऐसा लगता है कि they are we are being loved, we are being cared for, isn't it? Similarly, हमारे बच्चों को और depends if they are going to get anything. Ah, okay, interesting. So जब अगर हम ये सोच कर सुन रहे हैं दूसरों को कि हमें कुछ क्या मिलेगा इसमें या हमें हमारे लिए इसमें क्या है तो फिर वो लिसनिंग नहीं है तो लिसनिंग मीन्स वेन वी आर कम्प्लीटली एम्प्टी फ्रॉम आर माइंड जब हमारे माइंड में कोई जजमेंट नहीं है कोई भी एजम्पन्स नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं है दैट्स वट इज टू लिसनिंग एंड हम ओनली वी आर लिसनिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अदर पर्सन कम्प्लीटली नो बायस नो जजमेंट एंड नो एजम्पन्स एट ऑल दैट मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम भी थिंक कि ओ मुझे तो ऑलरेडी पता है दूसरा क्या कहने वाला है मुझे ऑलरेडी पता है मेरा बच्चा क्या सोच रहा है एंड आई आई चैलेंज पीपल हाउ डू यू नो द पर्सन यू आर सींग राइट नाउ टूडे इज नॉट द सेम पर्सन एट दे वर यस्टरडे वी चेंज एवरी सिंगल डे वी आर ग्रोइंग एंड इवॉल्विंग हाउ डू यू नो वट दैट पर्सन इज फीलिंग राइट नाउ सो इफ वी कैन ट्रूली लिसन यू कैन बी ट्रूली प्रेजेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट वैन यू आर लिसनिंग टू समबडी जस्ट टेल यूर सेल्फ i am going to be fully present in this moment i am going to listen to them completely with no judgment and going to be really really quiet from within me that's when you will truly listen to understand not to answer back and when you listen to someone really take time to internalize what they have said to understand what they have said and then you answer so that's a beautiful beautiful skill and lockdown is a wonderful time to build on that skill and uh, really deeply connect with your child and for play i have already mentioned lot of different things for if you have older children you can have beautiful conversations you can watch some interesting series on tv together and discuss about that what is their view and there are simple conversations like uh, uh but what would happen after corona times we can talk about how people are helping each other in corona times and what are their emotions what are they going through in this time so different kind of conversations can happen open up this conversation talk to your children if you have older children and with younger children of course as much as you can play and spend quality time to that so the i will be taking questions now so first question is come from neha that uh, what about screen time she is asking yes i know lot of parents are concerned about screen time especially because online classes are also happening on screen neha and uh, it's a concern for many parents including myself so what i would say is this that talk to your child even if your child is very young let's say 4 or 5 year old talk to your child that you are concerned about tell them that scientifically as scientists say 2 hours of screen time maximum is uh, okay for child eyes more than 2 hours is not good for our eyes and if our online classes are happening already for 3 4 5 hours we are already doing so much of screen time and uh, you can tell them that uh, that is a must i know online classes they have to do but at least they can restrict rest of the time so you can 
talk to them share your concern and then you both decide together don't impose on them if you impose on them okay you are not going on a screen afterwards or you can't go on youtube or you know tiktok whatever they do you you are not going to get good results because they will fight for it they will resist it right and they are they jid karenge bahut jyada to aapne kya karna hai milk ek solution nikalna hai maybe they say ki okay uh, after my classes i will watch one more hour of uh, screen whether it's on you know ipad or tv whatever then you have to be careful if they are younger children just make sure that they don't watch more than that for that you will of course need to give more time to them you will have to be have some creative activities as i told many things you can do with your children involve them in your household chores dance with them sing with them jo bhi kar sakte ho but connect with them be creative be fun love be fun so if you are uh, if they feel oh mama papa are boring and then of course tv is much more interesting if you keep on sitting and reading news then of course tv they will find tv more interesting but if you say okay let's bake let's make some ice lollies today let's bake a cake today together then they will find it more interesting right so do some interesting activities for them so some activities jo wo khud kar sakte hain apne aap और कुछ एक्टिविटी आप उनके साथ कर सकते हो अगर आप योगा कर रहे हो कुछ एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हो इंक्लूड दैम एज वेल इन्वॉल्व दैम एज वेल एंड सो दिस इज द ओनली वे एंड एंड बी काइंड एज वेल टू योर सेल्फ एंड योर चाइल्ड नो दैट अभी आप बहुत ज़्यादा कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते हो नॉर्मल से ज़्यादा स्क्रीन टाइम होगा ही होगा तो उसको एक्सेप्ट करना है बी फ्लैक्सीबल बी रियली फ्लैक्सीबल एंड एज आई सेट इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ सेशन ड्रॉप योर एक्सपेक्टेशन टू हाफ for everything if you think your child is going to take shower in the morning but they are not showering till 5 o'clock it's okay you can gently say next morning that please take shower but if they are not in a mood don't force them don't nag them for it because we all know that uh, we all are out of routine and that is actually one thing which i would suggest for parents that try to make a routine for yourself even if your children are not having routine you try to have a routine every morning do you know some exercise some yoga and you know, meditation take shower and get ready for your work even if you're not going out and have you know meals on regular time that will encourage your children to have a routine as well similarly for children younger children you can make their routine that they have school online school time then they have a rest time then they have screen time and then they have play time try to build a routine routine really really helps everybody at the house they will know what time they can disturb you when you're working from home then you need to tell them okay these are few hours when mama and papa are going to be on call and uh, for younger children i think parents are really struggling because bachcho ko dikhta hai ki mama papa ghar mein hai still they are not giving time to us so it can be challenging but you have to tell them maybe every day for few days aapko roz unko explain karna padega ki mama papa are working from home even though they are at home they are working and these few hours you cannot disturb them you can even put a board do not disturb and un hours mein you can make sure what your child is going to do are they doing online classes are they doing some art something which they can do on their own are they reading a book story book or they are doing some sketching so you have to make sure of a routine for everyone and again be a role model first you follow a routine the children will follow yours themselves and you stay calm they will stay calm and you are teaching a life biggest life skill to your children how to manage emotions in difficult times know that uh, your children are going to be really strong they have seen you know this pandemic is very young age and if you handle it really well if uh, you also you know set an example for your children to handle this challenge very well you tell them that we are doing great as a family so much we are learning then they will also know they can handle any challenge in their life because life will show us challenges there will be you know death of loved ones there will be many challenges in our lives which we are going to see children are going to see so it's like life is making them ready for it so i will take this next question which is how to keep kids away from youtube mobile mobile games or make sure that they don't disturb us i think i have just re- uh, just answered this question already uh, ninat that uh, i just answered this question that you have to make a routine you discuss with your children depending upon what age uh, you can uh, discuss with them that you are concerned about excessive screen time and they can choose how much time they want to mutually you decide for example if you decide one hour then you stick to that one hour 
and uh, how they don't disturb you when you're doing office tell them this is your work time and uh, in this time you can't be disturbed and you will be with them after that time make sure that after your work time play with your children because they are expecting that you spend some time with your children and make sure that you can have breakfast lunch and dinner together that can be family time at least all of you have together you know time together he always wants to spend full time with you i understand young children will like to do that but you when you tell your child again and again bar 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 jab aap apne bacche ko ye baat samjhayenge ki hum ghar par hain par iska matlab ye nahi hai ki hum kaam nahi kar rahe hain mama ko papa ko kaam karna hai we have to work even if we are on phone maybe we are on conference calls so you have to tell your child and please trust me 5 year old children can understand that they are uh, they don't understand logic but simple information they do understand agar aap us time pe bachcha jab kuch demand kar raha hai us time pe aap usko samjhane ki koshish karoge also it's very important ki kab batana hai bachcha us time wo bachcha nahi samjhega us time maybe us bachche ko bas kuch chahiye hai and they might feel ki ye best time hai mummy papa busy hai to jo bhi wo mangenge unko patak se mil jayega to ye alag ek strategy aur trick bachche use karte hain jab mummy ya papa busy hote hain they ask for things I have seen that my children doing that to me as well. So that that always happens. So what you need to do is that uh, you make sure that you tell your child कि इतने से इतने तक हमारा काम है और इस time में आप ये काम करोगे आप हमारे साथ नहीं बात कर सकते and वो प्यार से उनको समझाना है गुस्सा नहीं करना है उसका कोई फायदा नहीं है और बाद में make sure कि आप उनको एक घंटा आधा घंटा जितना आप दे सकते हो play करने के लिए कुछ भी फन एक्टिविटी करने के लिए वो टाइम आप उनको दो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट मी सी देर वॉज एन अदर क्वेश्चन समी इज आस्किंग अबाउट एग्रेशन सो इफ चिल्ड्रन आर बींग अग्रेसिव प्लीज प्लीज नोटिस बहुत छोटे बच्चे डेढ़ दो साल के बच्चे अगर एग्रेसिव हैं इसका मतलब सिर्फ और सिर्फ यही है कि घर में कोई और भी बिकॉज इतना छोटा बच्चा सिर्फ तभी अग्रेसिव होता है जब वो किसी को देखते हैं वेन दे सी समी एल्स इज ऑल्सो एग्रेसिव कोई और हाथ उठाता है या कोई और जोर से बात करता है कोई भी बच्चा नो बडी इज बोर्न लाइक बींग अग्रेसिव कोई बच्चा छोटा जो होता है बेबीज दे डोंट नो हाउ टू बी अग्रेसिव तो बच्चे कहाँ से सीखते हैं बच्चे हमसे ही सीखते हैं तो प्लीज नो दैट वी आर लाइव एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन छोटे बच्चे सिर्फ इमिटेट करते हैं दैट्स हाउ चिल्ड्रन लर्न दे इमिटेट आवर बिहेवियर सो अगर आपके बच्चे छोटे हैं यू हैव ए ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी प्लीज शो योर बेस्ट बिहेवियर अगर आप काम हैं कूल हैं घर में सब एक दूसरे की रिस्पेक्ट कर रहे हैं सब एक दूसरे को हेल्प कर रहे हैं घर में पॉजिटिव एनवायरमेंट है हैप्पी एनवायरमेंट है नेचुरली आपके बच्चे वही सीखेंगे और अगर आपके घर में छोटे बच्चे हैं यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी माइंडफुल बहुत माइंडफुल होके आपने रहना है कि आप कैसे बात करते हैं अपने स्पाउस से अपनी हेल्पर से अपने ड्राइवर से अपने पेरेंट्स से फोन पर आप बात कर रहे हैं तो आप कैसे बात कर रहे हैं उनके सामने आपके बच्चे आपको एवरी मोमेंट ऑब्जर्व करते हैं एवरी मोमेंट चिल्ड्रन ऑब्जर्विंग यू एंड इफ यू आर नॉट पेइंग अटेंशन इफ यू आर नॉट नोटिसिंग कि दे वो देख रहे हैं जब आप चिल्ला रहे हो या आप गुस्सा हो रहे हो या आप लूज कर रहे हो अपना टेम्पर दे आर वॉचिंग यू कॉन्स्टेंटली दे आर वॉचिंग यू and they are going to imitate that we were very very soon lot of time you know fathers have told me ki maine notice kiya mere bachche ne wohi baat boli jo main bolta hu ya usi tarike se unhone gussa kiya ya react kiya yes that's how they learn agar ab aapke bachche teenagers hain aur wo kuch aisa behavior show kar rahe hain jisme they are snapping or they are reacting ya gusse mein baat kar rahe hain please no they have learned from you and this is not to beat you This is not to criticize yourself कि मैंने अपने बच्चे को क्या सिखा दिया This is to become mindful and aware कि okay I have done mistakes maybe when you do this again and you can do that again as well that can happen make sure that you apologize because you will teach your child कि अगर गलती हो जाती है तो we can apologize apologize if you make a mistake similarly start changing your behavior if you want good behavior from your children if you want your child to be confident and have a good self talk नोटिस आप अपने बारे में कैसे बात करते हैं अगर आपके अंदर बहुत ज़्यादा वो है 
नेगेटिविटी है एग्रेशन है या खुद आप अपने आप को बहुत नेगेटिव सेल्फ टॉक करते हो अपने बारे में बोलते हो कि आई एम नॉट गुड इन नफ देन योर चिल्ड्रन आर गोइंग टू डू एग्जैक्टली द सेम सो आई थिंक देर आर नो मोर क्वेश्चन हेयर सो आई विल जस्ट रैप अप द सेशन बाय टेलिंग यू दैट दिस लॉकडाउन इज अ वंडरफुल वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी Yes, it's a difficult time. I agree. There are lot, lot is happening in the world. People are suffering as well. But please trust. You are safe in your home. Your children are safe. It's an opportunity to invest. This time, you can invest. Can you invest? 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 बहुत जल्दी बस मैक्सिमम आई थिंक वी आर इन टू फेज फोर एंड नाउ एक डेढ़ महीने के बाद होपफुली और मे बी इन फ्यू मंथ्स थिंग्स विल गो बैक टू नॉर्मल वी विल बिकम बिजी अगैन इन आर लाइफ डू नॉट लूज दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी दिस इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी कनेक्ट विद योर स्पाउस कनेक्ट विद योर चिल्ड्रन कनेक्ट विद योर लव्ड वंस डीप लेवल क्रिएट दैट बॉन्डिंग दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्डिंग एंड वी हैव ऑल नोन दैट दिस इज वट actually help us in our lives the bonding the harmony in our family and we all are together with our families there is no better time than this to build that bonding so talk to your children show a lot of affection with your children and enjoy with your children and make happy memories yes just i would like to you know Uh, and this session that yes you can ask the question and in our he is asking something please go ahead yeah so i was saying that create happy memories of this time do not uh, so when maybe in years after years of time you when you think of corona times of course you will think it was very difficult time but you might have beautiful memories you might have memories that we cook together we dance together and we did things which we never did maybe so now i see the other day we all were doing you know jadu pocha at home and i know my daughters have never done that before because it was not needed before so maybe you can create some interesting memories and uh, you can have fun while cleaning the dishes or whatever you do yeah, cooking together or playing together so create happy memories with each other with that i think i will be signing off it was wonderful talking to all of you if there are any more questions you have you can put here and maybe we can answer that later thank you so much for joining and uh, it was a great uh, you know interaction with all of you thank you so much bye bye